I'm going to get us started, episode one, by looking at an oldie but goodie, something that really relates to the technologies that we were talking about near the end of last season. This is a short and sweet interactive video by Wrapped Media called Will You Fit into Deloitte? The Wrapped Media website tells us that the problem they were trying to solve was educating potential candidates of Deloitte's graduate recruitment campaign about the company's culture and various service lines. Improving onboarding is a pretty universal challenge, which makes this a good piece for pretty much every ID to look at. But their problem was a little more specific, which is interesting. They wanted to help articulate their culture and values to new graduates in a way that would stick. This is not always something that's clearly examined. Every organization has a culture and values, and certainly as a job seeker, you want to know whether or not you think the culture would be right for you. I think a lot of people maybe don't think onboarding will help with that, but if you really, really think about it, as a job seeker, the way people talk to you and the way they conduct onboarding says a lot about the culture. So wouldn't it be great to have an organization really apply their values to the materials they use to help people to get to know the organization? I think the answer there is a resounding yes. The solution that they went with in this case was to create a point of view interactive recruiting video, a sort of pre-boarding experience that takes viewers inside the Deloitte culture while also educating them on Deloitte's various service lines. I really like that this is a pre-boarding experience. I think this is something that we can take away from this video. Instead of waiting for employment or to take another case, instead of waiting to enroll in that class or that program, let prospects know what the culture is like, what the values and the expectations are up front before that. So let's tuck into the actual experience. It's a point of view video, so it works by trying to put you as the viewer in the driver's seat. We start off with the overarching question of the video as a sort of logo or the starting screen. I think that was a great touch. It seems small, but no matter where you encounter this video, you get that understanding of its point, its value proposition right off the bat. That said, the experience as a POV is sort of interrupted for me because you do see the hand of the person they used in the filming. It's certainly not a deal breaker. I still very much enjoyed the experience, but it wasn't me anymore once I saw that hand. I can see why it might have been really tough to keep the person completely out of the video, though I think for a POV experience, that's probably what I would be going for. So that's something to think about. Otherwise, we get some nice grounding context with our guy walking into the office in the morning. You know, even the marking of the time as 8.30 a.m. is an important detail. I'm looking at this and thinking, that is way too early to be getting into the office. As a potential employee, this is something that I should pay attention to about the culture. They're early risers. I'm not sure if they meant that to be an important detail or not, but that's the sort of thing you can do with this kind of a medium is is add in these subtle but important details. Pretty quickly, we arrive at our first decision point when we spill coffee on the back of Darren, the tax and private partner. I took note of the fact that when we meet him, he's holding the elevator door for us. Again, this is another really subtle but effective way to signal the sort of values Deloitte has. They're the sort of organization where people hold doors for each other. But back to our spilled coffee challenge, we can choose to rub it in, tell him, or keep quiet. In this case, it's pretty easy to tell the right decision. But you'll notice that you are timed here. You don't have all day. I think that's another really nice little detail that keeps us in the realism of the scenario. We're on the elevator, so we need to make a decision before he gets off. Unfortunately, if you let the timer run out, you'll find that it doesn't actually work in the way you might think. It may have been a technical limitation, but I think ideally it would have been great if the keep quiet decision in this case had been automatically made for you if you didn't beat the buzzer. 
The visual of the timer, though, I will say, does a pretty good job of generating the kind of emotions and excitement that it's meant to. Depending on the tools you're using, if you can't get an actual timer to work, faking it can be a good alternative. I think it works well here. You'll also notice, if you watch the video, that after the first decision point, you'll get some badges on the side of the screen. These do a great job of reinforcing the values and skills that you're learning about in the experience. The first one is Honesty Pays. We move on to our second decision point when we meet Sonia Breeze, Head of People and Performance. This is the trickiest scenario within the video to me. The point here is to pay close attention to the things around Sonia's office so you can choose a good gift for her birthday. The video does a pretty good job of giving you a second or two to look at three possibly important artifacts in the office and then you have to choose. I'm a bit conflicted here. On the one hand, it's realistic that you might not have all day to poke around someone's office, particularly if you're planning a surprise. But on the other hand, the length of time you have to look at the artifacts made it kind of difficult to make sure I was paying sufficient attention. So that's a bit of a sticking point for me. Again, not a deal breaker. I may just be upset that I got this one wrong on my first try. They do give you the opportunity to try again though, and the skill badge you get of attention to detail reinforces the point of that challenge very nicely. The next three challenges are more of the same, really well done, and each reinforces the value that Deloitte wants in its employees. Of interest though is the fourth challenge, where the only wrong choice is eating lunch alone. Once again, this is a really telling cultural choice for Deloitte. People who want to eat lunch alone not welcome here? I'm not sure that's exactly what they meant to say, but it's worth saying that I got that vibe as an introvert and someone who enjoys eating lunch alone fairly often. So for good or for ill, that's something that I, as a potential employee, could latch on to as being an important part of the culture. Another interesting thing about this challenge is that each of the two other choices leads to a different fourth badge, either playing to win or celebrate and have fun. Either way, again, the skills and values highlighted there give off a certain vibe about the culture. When we finish all the challenges, we see all of our badges, once again, that reinforcement and then we end on the opportunity to learn even more about the department or service we're interested in. So now that we've looked at the solution, what might be the measures of success? Well, once again, we're lucky in this respect because RAP Media spells out what they measured as points of success. Novel use of gamification in a recruiting video works across all devices average viewing time of over four minutes, significant social buzz around the project, and outperformed similar linear video posted on YouTube. The first two are really just technical feats, but if you're able to speak about these kinds of measures, it's worth saying, here are two new things we were able to implement in this experience and take credit for that. They also measure viewing time and social buzz, which you could quantify in retweets, likes, or things like that. These may seem like rather shallow measurements, but considering that so many orgs don't do any sort of analytics on the learning experiences they produce, I feel like these are really good first steps for us newbies. The last success measurement they mention is that the interactive video outperformed the linear alternative. I don't know exactly what outperforming means, but I'm assuming it also has something to do with viewing time. If I could expand on this, I'd say it would be great to measure, if at all possible, the new recruits or applicants who went through the experience versus those who didn't, and whether or not they were more knowledgeable about the organization and its values than previous applicants uh, or recruit pools. That may be impossible. It may be a super stupid idea, but I think that that would be really interesting if you could get at that kind of detail.
All in all, there are a lot of great points to the will you fit into Deloitte interactive video as an experience. And so there's a lot of stuff that you might want to steal for your own projects. Let's take a moment to review some of the things that I think are good takeaways. From a technical perspective, we've got a professionally made video and a really nice slick player that has interactive decision points sprinkled throughout. It's also mobile friendly, so you can experience this on various devices. From a design perspective, we've got a point of view video that puts the learner in the driver's seat. Again, because we actually see the avatar, if you will, it breaks that sense of my actually being the character, but it doesn't break the experience. This was designed as a kind of pre-boarding experience. It's meant to help people orient themselves to Deloitte's values before they get hired. I think it does an excellent job at solving this issue and I think that that's a really good idea that more of us might be able to steal. Whether you're designing a course, whether you're designing onboarding, you work in HR, maybe having some sort of pre-boarding, testing that out could be a really cool thing. The scenarios are well designed but also fairly simple and fun. I think that as an instructional designer who would have to write and possibly also shoot these kinds of things those were not too difficult but they also did a really great job of reinforcing those values as did the badges you earn and interestingly there's a lot of subtle detail that comes through in the video that tells the attentive viewer even more about Deloitte as an organization like the fact that people get into the office early they hold doors for each other and you're expected to accept invitations to lunch adventures I've watched this video several times before, but preparing for this episode was the first time I latched onto those details consciously. Those are huge, so definitely pay attention to that in an experience where you're trying to relate intangible things like values and culture. That's it for this teardown episode. Let me know what you think in the comments.